We've now gone through half of Luther's Large Catechism, Part 2, and welcome to Lesson uh, 14, Inevitably Tempted. Uh, lead us not into temptation, we pray in this petition. And Luther very clearly um, says that temptation comes from three sources, the flesh, the sinful human nature, the unbelieving world, and the devil. Uh, but he gives us insight into how these temptations arise, which is kind of contrary to what we think of it. We, we downplay the flesh, but we play up that big bad world out there, uh, and we leave ourselves open to falling for temptation because of this lack of categorizing it properly. The, sin, the temptations that address our sinful human nature are, are laziness, gluttony, drunkenness, vices like that, um, which we typically say, well, that's the bad people out there. No, that's the sinful nature in here. The, the temptations from the world are that we fly into outrage or anger or despair over the wickedness we see going on in the world. So it's like, you know, if we don't stoop to their level, we won't fall to that temptation. And then finally, the temptations from the devil, those are primarily spiritual temptations that we despair of God, or we disregard or neglect. The word of God is not that important in our life. These are the three sources of temptation. And Luther brings out the, um, the big idea of the day, The big idea of the day is that we are inevitably tempted. As long as we are in this world, we are tempted. And so what does it mean when we pray, lead us not into temptation? Luther says this is what it means, that God give us strength to stand and overcome temptations. Um, we do that by being prepared for the temptations that come our way, to recognize how terrible they are, how destructive they can be, not to go through a day thinking, oh, I'm not going to be tempted, uh, to be heedless to the uh, attacks and wiles of the devil. Um, Luther says, if you do not feel it, you are not tempted. Uh, I'll just give you a quick example. Uh, I, I like going to the beach. I like sitting around on the beach, but boy, my glasses don't like it. So whenever I go to the beach, I put these babies into a plastic bag, into the backpack, so no sand can get at them, but I'm so blind. All those beautiful women walking on the beach. I'm not tempted at all because I can't see them. It's gotten to the point now, I have to remember what color Karen's bathing suit is so I can pick her out when she's coming up out of the water and walking towards me, because she's probably going to get me wet or kick sand in my face. But not tempted, because I'm, not, I'm such a holy person? Uh-uh. I can't see it. In the same way, if we didn't feel temptation, we wouldn't be tempted. So the fact that we're tempted is not a slam on our faith. It's just being a human being. We're inevitably tempted. But we pray that God, in this petition, uh, give us the victory over temptation. Thanks for watching this week.